Okay, question 8b, another one of these graph the information that you're given. Uh, and again, whoops, I'm sorry, we start off with a list of points. So negative 2, uh, comma 5, it's about right there. Uh, 3, negative 2, so 1, 2, 3 down here, negative 2, about right there. And negative 4, positive 7, so that's going to be up about there based on the grid that I'm, that I'm seeing here. Now, I'm given some information. The first derivative at negative 2 is 0, as well as the first derivative at 3. So we know that the, the line, the tangent lines, go horizontal at those points. So those are likely matching up with maximums or minimums. Not necessarily, but that's, that's a good guess here. Uh, the second derivative at negative 2 is greater than 0. So this means this has got to be a min, okay? because it's got to be doing the smiley face there. And it's less than 0 at 3, which means this has got to be a maximum. Okay, we got to be doing the little frowny face right there. Okay, so that's that's what that information is giving us right there. Now we're told that the second, sorry, no, I'm right. Sorry, the second derivative at negative four is zero, which basically points that out as a point of inflection. And at negative five, it's concave down. So we're not told. Sorry, I usually put the second derivative down here. We're not told much, but we're essentially told that it goes to zero at four, and over here it's negative, so it's going to be concave down. So that's kind of an interesting thing. You're not given other, any other information, basically just that. You're going to have to infer everything else here. Now, the limit as x approaches neg uh, sorry, 1 from the negative side here, so 1, goes to infinity. So that is setting up 1, okay, x equals 1 to be a vertical asymptote. And then as x approaches, sorry, we're going up to positive infinity here, and then on the other side here, it looks like we're going down to negative infinity. And now here, as x goes to positive infinity, the graph drops to negative infinity. So that means the graph is ending up somewhere way, way down here. So now putting this together, it's, the graph really has to look like this. It's got to come down from that asymptote. It's going to hit the minimum. It's going to curve up here. But as soon as we get to here, it goes concave down. But you're not given any other information. So all we can assume is that this thing is concave, it has a concave down curve, and it just kind of shoots off to infinity like that. On the other side of the, the asymptote, this thing's dropping down. We already know that this is a max. And then to the right of that, it just drops down to infinity. So our graph must look something like that.